down. Welcome everybody to the Vintage DLC video for the free update. So actually it's not the Vintage DLC video, but this is everything just tied together and I decided to make four actual videos instead of just one big one uh, to make it easier for you to navigate and to make it easier to, you know, for all, for all the people who may not have the money at the moment to buy a DLC. Um, I, I wanted to split this so that you guys really can see what is in the free update 1.7 of Planet Coaster. And I have to admit that the free part of it is most likely also the best part of it. Um, and I'm gonna talk about this uh, in, in detail actually in two videos. So uh, you can really tell that I'm quite happy about the free stuff that you guys be getting. Um, so we have Monday. The, the DLC and update will be out tomorrow actually. And I need to mention that I really... Um, want to encourage you guys not to judge this by the video if there is anything happening like a bug or a minor glitch or whatsoever. This is a review version so it might be there is something in which is not 100% functional but um, I'm uh, certain that it will be fixed tomorrow so they also used us in a, in a way that we can report something. Uh, so hopefully this is all figured out by tomorrow I'm quite sure but I just wanted to mention it's not that you guys are gonna uh, judge the game by wrong uh, things because uh, it might want to happen. So we have this area over here We're gonna talk about these little things in detail later on. It's way too crowded over here Let me just get some guests out of the park um, geez, uh, Because that's way too much going on. Uh, let's put that to 1.2 thousand that should be fine. So people should be leaving, not for this video, but maybe for the another four I'm going to record today. So, yeah. Well, we are going to start with the actual the coaster, which is in the free update, which is the Wild Mouse, or the Wooden Wild Mouse Coaster, I have to say. I mean, most of you will know it. I even like that they stick to the um, uh, color scheme. You really know from Warlockers' Tycoon. If you have played the game, you will definitely know that one. Um, so, yeah. Here we are in the station. We're going to take a ride. And I'm, I'll, I'll be a bit quiet until we... Um, uh, at the end of the lift hill just to show you a bit of the sounds because I really like the sound design so yeah listen to it and uh, I'm gonna talk then to you again So there we go. I hope that you guys ha have heard um, how how incredibly nice the sound design is. I really like how this this really subtle scratch sounds from from going into these corners and stuff, and also the lift hill. How it was all, it feels a bit old, a bit vintage, which is really awesome, I guess. Um, it's it's not that nice new polished coaster, right? This is something also you can expect on on a fun fair or somewhere, which is always you know you you build this one, you have to rebuild this and so on. So the material really suffers from it. And uh, I, I think that's really cool how they even implemented that in the sound design. And as we know, Frontier is really good at sound design. So it's not too surprising, but I really love the fact that they did. And yeah, here we are already at the end of this little thing. It's a very standard one, but I love it because it is a standard one. It, it's, it might sound weird, but I, I really find that this was really lacking from the game. Like, honestly, that was really lacking. I, I was always... Um, wanting to build something like that in in the uh, areas where there is not too much space But you really want to have a nice coaster which also can have a nice skyline because you don't need to build that cage around it I mean like this is really cool. That could also be like really from a fun fair um, Which is which is totally awesome um, But it doesn't need to so you can really stick a bit more to the to the sideline of the coaster or to the skyline of the coaster Which would be nice, but it's really incredible, but um, yeah, just wanted to mention this uh, here you guys can also see something which is also from the DLC, uh, from the uh, free update, uh, which is basically this whole building, which is very cool because that shows you that there are a few new foliage pieces and this is so so incredible i love the new foliage honestly it's um it could have been more but that's just me complaining because i love foliage in general and um yeah we are going to talk about the foliage now in depth so let me go over here because i placed every individual piece holy shit that's way too crowded over here um can we just can we ju i'm gonna close the park for a bit and gonna uh, because that's that's way too that's way too much let me just 
close the park and hope that everybody is just for now leaving the park because that's just way too crowded. People are still going on on coasters and stuff, but yeah. So, um, that's a good point actually. We need stuff and uh, because it's really, you know, there's a lot of stuff uh, flying around here and, and it's really like so much trash and it would be nice if we could have some janitors here and that's, uh, yeah, that's what we need to have. But you know what would be even more nice? If we could give the, uh, the janitor, can I just... There we go. If we could give him a few other colors, so why not do this? And this is also included in the free update. You can now recolor your staff members, which is awesome, because we can now get in and uh, give him a tad bit more like a vintage style. Let's give him like a beige uh, thing, and let's say some reddish or uh, kind of things, like these gloves can be in this color, and then we give him darkish gray like that. Um, so, there we go. We have a completely new janitor. The cool thing, it's not for everyone. It's individual. And I love this because, you know, it, it adds so much more. You can actually, you, you could now go in and put him into a roaster so that he's on, only roaming around in this area. And so that makes the whole thing a lot more realistic because you can actually have like park areas with uh, the stuff actually dressed like, like the area, like the themed area, which takes away a bit of the general look of the um, people in the park or like the, the stuff members which makes it all a bit more game-ish I guess I mean still they look pretty much the same because they have actually the same clothes but at least you can recolor them to, to add that bit of um, excitement and, and stuff to it um, that it's always a bit different so I guess we can reopen the park now and uh, do I have the let's put it to 800 so that should be better so park opened again I hope that the people that try to leave are still leaving not necessarily, right? Okay, that's not a good idea. I'm sorry, guys, but I, I will I will fix that for the next video then. Uh, but for this one, because we want to go on and not start over again. So we are going to look now at the different versions of new foliage. And I put these two in here um, because to, to show you something. These two in the back are not new. Everything you can see in the foreground is new. So we have roses, kind of these. Oh, wait, let me just go in. Um, we have the normal rose bush and the cool thing is you can recolor them and not only the whole bush But you can individually Recolor some of them which is also cool to give it a bit more Possibilities to yeah, just get in with some more Variation in it. I guess that's that's what I wanted to, to say um, You can even recolor the leaves which is somehow funny because I haven't seen that before um, But I feel like this is really a good thing that you can recolor the leaves because if you want to make something look a bit more like dried out for example that could be a cool thing and uh, guess what you can do this now with all of these ones um, obviously you can recolor like most of the flowers now and I especially love these ones now let's let's do some margarites of it is it even a word in English I have no idea um, I guess it should be but I don't know really so look at this I mean that's so incredible you can really go in and recolor the nitty-gritty bits of it which is so awesome obviously you can see already with this one how they are all and if you go back to this bush you can see you can only change the color of the kind of floral leaves um, and the same goes for this one let me just change this one uh, that one as well but for those over here you can have the possibility to do this I hope they really add this in for all the old pieces as well because it's really handy it comes in really handy to blend in the things so for example if we take this one let's copy that over and let's say we want to have this together with another one which then looks a bit more darkish like that so it looks classic or whatsoever and this one does not really blend in well but I want to have this this kind of little floral thing in still because it has a nice shape and stuff I can really easily go in and now put the same darkish green to it and you have already a new plant which is cool because they added not that much uh, that many new pieces but throughout this little thing this is really adding a lot more so you don't really get these few pieces new you also get the possibility to blend them in into different areas which I think is just in general amazing it's just amazing and now I have to reopen the park because otherwise I can sh can't show you something else later on uh, so park is reopened I hope that people roam in now a bit more easy and not too crazy uh, then you can see this is also new I put them in here but this is a bit wrong but I totally did this 
intentionally because I feel that um, these rows or climbing roses can actually be used as ground patterns as well to not spoil too many or just just you know to plop in too many things if you just want to cover the ground a bit like in a flower bed you can really use those perfectly fine I mean we can just copy those over just throw them uh, throw them around a bit just raise them or lower them a tiny bit and there you go I mean that's that's a lot more uh, efficient I guess and and piece not that piece heavy actually so that's a cool thing um, then you see all over the place uh, some things that have been added as well and I'm so so happy about this these are different variants of planters guys so we actually have planters in the game um, and this is like an actual texture of soil which is so awesome and you can actually use those t pieces individually uh, you can copy that out and, and just put that everywhere and also like that these are grid pieces um, I think it was necessary to make them grid pieces to make sure that you can really build the path alongside and I know what I'm talking about about because if you remember I made this blueprint for you guys uh, which was called um, the, the kind of uh, classic park elements and I think of the garden elements and I think uh, they took maybe a bit of inspiration from that I don't really know but it could be because it really is um, yeah it is just happening and now let me just pause the video because this is something I wasn't able to catch up too often in preparing the video so what we have to show now except you know we have all the planters I don't need uh, to talk too much about this you can see basically which ones are available and this is an example how you can put them together also have like a different kind of corner over here you can use that pretty easily and you can also recolor everything I don't even know if I have to mention this all the time because you definitely have to recolor everything and you can now which is amazing but this is one of the new vending machines and you have let's start maybe with those ones we're also gonna look how people do this but they're going more often to this one. Oh, oh this is beautiful that's like the most beautiful position ever let me just let me just make this a screenshot because I don't really know if I have one yet. Um, and that's actually not too bad. So, we have vending machines, guys, and as you can see, they really get those little uh, bottles out of this one. So, it's a vending machine, as you know them, they are quite modern, nothing nothing too nostalgic in here, really modern ones. The only bummer is, and we also mentioned that already, that these are grid pieces, so you can't really put them closer to each other than, than like that. But I also positioned them now a bit more different, so you can see that you can play around with it. So, these are individual buildings, so you can put them into various um, positions, obviously, but not too close to each other other which is a bit of a bummer um, because actually if you if you look into actual theme parks or like in arcades or something they're really standing next to each other but that shouldn't be hindering it too much because I hope they can really fix that and we can have them next to each other a bit closer I feel like this has to do with the AI interacting with them so if they're next to each other that's a bit of a problem because people are really queuing up behind those things and um, if the animation is going on here and you would have something let's say for example intersecting with that one that could actually lead to a few AI glitches which we don't really like in the game so if this has been too much affected I can really understand why they took the step and and use them like this so it's it's totally fine for me because I love it and we can actually um, cover this up right now easily and that's just fine um, and you could actually go also in and, and make for example just a fake one um, and put that next to it so that they're only interacting with one but at least you get the look of having a few more that's I think a good thing but now we are going to this one and that's so amazing it is the claw machine uh, you all know this claw machine and you can use that now again let me just have a look um, or let us just have a look how this works so they are using the claw and let's see there you go <laughs> they're just Popping this thing out. Now let's go over here and then it's going to fall down bloop, into this one. They're taking it out. You couldn't really see it but they now have it in their inventory. They're really happy. It has worked and yeah it's so super cool. Um, I wonder like the whole group was just cheering at her that she's going to do it. Anyways um, this is the uh, claw machine which is super cool because actually if we click onto this one oh, it's called the claw crane machine I'm so sorry um, because if you go in you can also see you can change the price but also the chance to win which is really cool and you have to also make sure that it's maintained because it can broke down, uh, break down which I haven't seen yet so I was preparing a park with a lot of vandalists in but I haven't seen this one being destroyed so I, I guess it's I guess it's more like it's going to break down from uh, the from like like machine issues or electricity issues so it is more like a coaster than kind of a park asset but yeah whatever uh, a path asset so um, one last thing I have to mention 
and this might be the biggest surprise for you guys this is a full set this is not custom made this is a full in-game set of custom supports and uh, for those of you who want to see more of this because I decided to make an own video about this one because I feel like there is a niche that people really have a need for it and I'm gonna make a new video so if you want to watch that video make sure to click one of those you know I put all the links to the different videos on top uh, so there is the info card or just go to the end of the video and click on the end card or go in the description below there's all the links also listed down below so go to the video for uh, the normal um, it's not normal but it's the it's the video where I talk about in detail about the custom support assets which are now in the game for free and this is so cool um, I guess I've covered everything from the free update which is not that less actually so it's it's really uh, a lot of things happening in here um, and I hope you guys enjoyed that video as always um, I'd like to say thank you for watching and see you in the next one Oh my god, I just forget something very important, guys. Um, and this is, look at this. Maybe you have seen that the whole time. We have now filters, which is also included in the free update. I'm just gonna leave that filter on for now, um, because this is now a vintage sepia filter, which is so cool, actually. Um, and people have been fearing that this will be um, bad for the FPS, and I can state now, it isn't. It works totally the same. No idea how they did this, but it doesn't affect the FPS at all. At least for me, there's nothing nothing happening. So it's it's all fine, it's extra, uh, exactly, <laughs> sorry, I've been recording so much today, I'm just done, anyway, anyways. Uh, it's so amazing, honestly, it's really, really amazing. There is nothing uh, to say bad about the filters, they are looking amazing. It's actually a nice addition to the game because you can really play with them, but you can also use them only for filming and and uh, I've been, you know, when I saw that first, I was a bit like, yeah, um, I, I don't really know if I need that. So if I want to have a filter, I put this on in post-production, I have even more, you know, I have more control over it. But it's a nice addition. Like, it's not too bad, actually, to use that um, as, a, as a simple thing in-game and just make it look a bit more. Like, I can imagine we play in this filter the whole time we are playing the Kevl Studios version. But anyhow, um, that's it. See you. Bye. All right, guys, this is it for this episode and as always I would like to remind you that there is a DLC giveaway going on in the description below so make sure to go there and uh, enter the terms and uh, so you will see if you're the lucky one to win a DLC code uh, for the vintage DLC but um, yeah that's that's it for now and as always I would uh, highly recommend to give this video a like if you enjoyed the video and also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already but now I uh, don't have anything else to add than say goodbye and enjoy your day guys. See you in the next one and bye bye.